Hello everyone! In this video, I am excited to introduce a new drawing tool that will be available in the upcoming version of Wondershare Filmora. To access this feature, make sure to download the latest version of Filmora from their official website. I have also included the website link in the description below for your convenience. Here we are in Filmora. In the latest version, you will find a drawing tool in the toolbar. By hovering your mouse over it, you will see four types of shapes that you can use for your video editing needs. Rectangular, arrow, ellipse, and triangle. It's up to you to utilize these shapes in whatever way you see fit to enhance your editing skills. To create a shape in this tool, select rectangular. When you double click on it, you will be able to access detailed settings to make necessary changes. You can transform the shape, change its fill color to any other color or gradient, and add borders. Additionally, you can add drop shadows to make the shapes look more realistic. Moreover, you can make the corners circular by adjusting the corner radius option located below the rotation. Using the shape tools, we can easily create a highlight effect with rectangular shapes. I have a news article here and I want to highlight a specific line. To do this, I'm going to create a rectangular shape and adjust its size to fit the text I want to highlight. Then I'll change the color to yellow, which is a common highlighting color. After selecting the shape, I'll make it a compound clip by right-clicking. Since shapes don't have blend options, Double-clicking on the compound clip will bring up the blend mode options where I can choose a mode that works best for me. In my case, I'll use the darken mode. If you want, you can experiment with other modes too. This looks great. If you want to add movement, you can use keyframes. To achieve the motion highlight effect, begin by selecting the linear option in the mask settings. Move the line all the way to the left side. Then turn on the invert mask option to ensure that the animation starts from the left. Create a transform keyframe at this point. Proceed to move forward by about 20 frames and increase the X axis value to make the animation move towards the right. This is what your animation will look like now. And it looks amazing. These tips can help you use shapes effectively in your editing work. We have a variety of shapes, including the arrow shape, which is ideal for highlighting specific items. Additionally, other shapes are also very useful. I have included the link to the Filmora website in the description, so please check it out. This tool is only available in the newer version of Filmora, so I encourage you to try it for free. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.